wrong, any more wrong than this? Every this low is the low from hell. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any episode. Today, the load from hell. This is the load from hell. Hey, I don't, it's never been worse than this. Never. Stay tuned.
trip is kind of interesting because um, it's the famous Highway 1. So you guys are going to see the extent of this highway. How dangerous and how beautiful.
not to be like stole the road or anything. That's a good thing. But anyway, in any case, catch up with you guys later. Before I see you again, before it all makes sense.
me out a little bit. And then from there, I drove to Fargo, North Dakota. I was getting to Fargo, I was already feeling again. All crappy. Grand total of yesterday driving, 250 miles. About four hours. Not good. Not good. But I couldn't, I just couldn't. It wasn't safe for me to drive like that, you know. I had to, you know. So I pull over at the logs in the in Fargo and I sit in there. Let it get over and boy did it help because today I'm feeling a lot better. I mean my nose is a little plucked still but uh, but you know my head my head is, is okay. I don't have headaches and I am you know I'm very awake very you know aware of what's happening. So 
I did that. Then I drove yesterday to Des Moines, Iowa. I spent the night there. Woke up today at five in the morning. Drove to the place and I go there and guess what? Wrong address. Then I got the right address. And when I talked to my dispatcher, I told him, what WTF in big? Like, I don't know what the hell, but if those guys, I mean, and my dispatcher told him, told me, yeah, like, oh, I, I did tell those guys that they better get their stuff together because otherwise we're not gonna take any more loads from them because these guys, I don't know who the brokers for these loads are, but it's horrible. Everything was wrong. And I'm wasting time, and I don't get paid that much for that. So anyway, eventually I did get done. And then, you know, left there, came to a love, published a video, had a shower, at lunch and my pickup is in Michigan almost in Detroit and that's where I'm going now got 345 miles to get there now the question is I got four hours left it's what two in the afternoon plus, plus two that's four four in the afternoon. So, should I go through Chicago at four in the afternoon with four hours to go? That would be a big mistake. And I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna stop somewhere, I'm gonna drive, I don't know, maybe 100 miles and stop, and then drive tomorrow, I don't know. than 60 miles or 300 miles or something like that. Which means I gotta get up, I gotta start driving at six. I have to get up at five, again. Another day of crappy sleeping. Cause I don't fall asleep like that, you know, oh man. But, you know, whatever. So that I can do my pickup tomorrow that is going back to Vancouver. Boy, oh boy. Okay. Everything goes wrong. Any more wrong than this? Every this low is the low from hell. Everything is wrong about this low. I mean, I don't know what the hell. Mother. But anyway, just wanted to let you guys know where we are. Well, I hope you like this episode. 
if you want to learn more about trucking advice, click on that link. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, we keep on trucking. Bye-bye. <laughs>